वेलकम टू स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटेरियल सिंपल स्ट्रेस एंड स्ट्रेन सो इन दिस वीडियो विल बी गोइंग फॉर फर्दर टाइप ऑफ डेरिवेशन एंड न्यूमेरिकल्स सो इलांगेशन ड्यू टू सेल्फ वेट सो इन दिस पार्ट वी विल बी हैविंग द टू टाइप्स ऑफ सेक्शंस द इलांगेशन ड्यू टू सेल्फ वेट ऑफ द रेक्टेंगुलर एंड कॉनिकल सेक्शंस एज शोन बिलो so first we will be taking a rectangular section so this is the rectangular section wherein it will be trying to come down because of its own self weight consider a bar hanging freely under its own weight as shown in figure on the right side so this is the weight acting in the downward direction so when we take this load is acting in the downward direction what kind of forces and what type of equation we are able to see when the section is going to come with only the its own weight let us see consider a small length of delta x at a distance x from the free end at a distance x from the free end let a equals to area of cross section of the bar so now it is a rectangular cross section whatever may be the area so let us be the cross section area as a weight small w weight per unit length of the bar for 1 meter of length whatever may be the weight that weight will be considered as small w weight per unit length of the bar capital w capital w is weight of the whole bar so now weight of the whole bar will be multiplied with the total length of the bar and unit weight of the particular bar so in this part we will be seeing that the weight of the whole bar is w l and capital w is equal to w l and small w is only the weight per unit length of the bar w x capital w x is weight of the bar of the small section so now only this part we will be considering small section that is w into x which will be there we are going to consider for the derivation part the extension of a small length what will be the extension of the small length let us see so this will be capital w x delta x divided by a into e so this is the derivation of extension that is load upon a e so pl by a e is the formula which we are going to use here p is w x and l is delta x area is capital a e is equals to young's modulus of the section now capital w x we can write it as small w x into delta x is the length of the section divided by a into e further extension of the whole rod means whole section will be how much so it is the integration of 0 to l limits 0 to l limits means the section is considered from the start point to the end point so that putting into the integration we will be seeing that the x is only the part which will be integrated because of the length variation so we will be considering x in terms for the integration so integrated we will be able to see that x square divided by x as only x is the component w by ae will be coming outside which will be able to seen by us as the equation substituting the l into the equation and zero into the equation that is w l square by 2 ae so w l square by 2 ae is the part of w l l by 2 ae what the equation finally the equation when we consider this part of w into l is the per weight of the section so capital w is now the total weight which is going to act on the 
member and length of the member divided by total 2AE. So this is the section where the elongation will be acting due to its self weight of the bar. Finally, the equation remains for the extension of the whole rod will be WL by 2AE. Elongation due to self weight. Let us go for the second part. The elongation due to self weight of a bar of conical sections as given below. Conical section. So conical section means we need to see that which side the conical will be there and where the fixity will be there. So consider a conical bar hanging freely under its own weight as shown in the figure right side. So this is the particular conical figure which is shown on the right side wherein length is total L and there is a small consideration of the particular section as delta x and which is fixed at a free distance from the conical side at a x distance and the area is considered as capital A. Now consider a small length delta x of the bar at the section d uh, x from the free end. Let area A of a cross section of the bar, W weight per unit length of the bar similarly as the rectangular section itself only. Capital W is Wx is equals to weight of the bar per below the small section is W into A into X. So area into X we will be doing divided by 3 it will be able to come that rectangular part or the thing of the rectangular part which will be acting one third of the sections which we are going to consider. So this is the section which will be trying to move in the downward direction because of its own self weight. We will be considering this part. Now the extension of the small length similarly as the rectangular section we will be considering. Wx delta x divided by AE wherein this will be we know that Wx is equals to Wax in divided by 3 is already there. So we will substitute that Wx as Wax into delta x divided by 3 into AE. Consider the extension of the whole rod. Now again the integration part will be coming for the above equation 0 to L will be the limits of integration w a x d x divided by 3 a e. Now in this part the section will be able to see that a a gets cancelled where in the value will be only remaining with w x 3 a e. So w and 3 e will be coming out so x will be integrated after integration the x square by 2 will be put into with the limits. After able to see the limits and simplifying we are able to see that the equation will be as w l square by 6 e. So for the particular elongation of the conical section will be the equation as extension of the whole rod given equals to w l square by 6 e. Numerical, moving to numerical, so numerical consisting of a brass plate of uniform thickness 6 mm varies in width from 100 mm to 180 mm and is subjected to a total load of 4 kN. Length of the plate is 0.6 meters. Find the elongation of the bar capital E for brass plate is equal to 82 GPA. So all data is already given we can see this is related to the rectangular varying sections. Rectangular varying sections means this is somewhat type of this type of section if you are able to remember which was taken in the previous video for that we are going to solve the numerical. So this is the B part and this is the A part wherein the total length will be this section. So to recall you that equation I am going to solve some problems of that particular derivation. So please understand the problem. So thickness is given as 6 mm. 
and width from 100 mm to 180 mm is already given is subjected to a load of 4 kN and length of the plate is 0.6 meters means 600 mm equals E is given as 82 GPE. So taking the solution we will be able to see that bigger side A as 180 mm smaller side B as 100 mm thickness T as 6 mm. So I will just make it clear so that you are able to see this particular 6 mm. So this is 6 mm which is able to be taken for the particular consideration as thickness. Length of the rod is L equal to 600 mm. Actual load acting is 4000 kilo, 4 kilo Newton which is 4000 Newtons. Young's modulus E is equal to 82 GPA. So we know GPA to Newton per mm square will be 82 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per mm square. So we have the total extension of the rod delta L as the equation is equal to P L by E T into bracket A minus B log base to E A by E A by B. So substituting the all known values. So already we have all the values such as A value is there. We have B value is there. We know the thickness value. We know the P value. We have the length value and further we have the Young's modulus of the particular given problem. Substituting all the values into the equation, it will be similar to this step as well as after substituting if the calculation is found, we can easily see the calculation as elongation of the extension rod will be 0.0358 mm. Moving for another numerical which is again of a similar type of a rectangular steel bar of the length 400 mm now and thickness as 10 mm uh, is found to be 0.21. So the extension in the rectangular is 0.21 mm. The bar tapers uniformly in a width of 100 mm to 50 mm if E for the bar is 2 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square determine the actual load on the bar. So they are asking us what is the value of P in this equation in this problem. So solving bigger side is A 100 mm smaller side B is 50 mm thickness T is 10 mm length of the rod L is equal to 400 mm actual load p is equals to is the value what we want to determine extension of the rod delta l is equals to given as 0.21 we need to determine what is the value of p so e is 2 into 10 raised to 5 newton per m square as given value in the question using the equation as we have delta l is equals to p l by e T into bracket A minus B log base to E A by B. So substituting all the values we can find the P is as unknown because already the value of delta L is known to us. So simplifying and rearranging the values in the equation we find out the P value as 7574.15 kilo newtons. So this value we can easily get. Numerical a stepped steel bar a stepped steel bar is suspended vertically so understand this problem very carefully the diameter in the upper form portion is 10 mm while the diameter in the lower half portion is 6 mm so there is a two combination of bars which is suspended vertically downward direction upper part is of 10 mm and lower part is of 6 mm what are the stresses due to self weight in section B and A as shown in figure? E is equal to 200 kilonewton per meter mm square that is 200 into 10 raised to 3. Weight density is rho. So weight is given as rho is equal to 0 0.7644 into 10 raised to minus 3 newton per mm cube. Weight per unit area it is volume. What is the change in the length if E is 200, 
2 lakh MPA. So there we are able to see that the E value they, it is substituted two times. So as in the given we should not get confused with this E value and this V value both are same itself only. Only the units and the values are having different values. So don't get confused it is directly 2 lakh Newton per mm square or 200 into 10 raised to um, 3 Newton per mm square. So this is the problem what is given in the question a stepped steel bar suspended vertically. So as we have seen the earlier in this video the derivation of elongation of rectangular section for the self weight. So now weight is also given for the particular <coughs> rod the density of this particular rod how much will be the elongation we need to determine. So here two sections are there wherein A to B and B to C two sections. So they are asking us what are the stresses due to the self weight in the section B and C whereas C will not be having any section stress because it is at the free end we are going to have a stress at B point which we will be trying to pull in the upward direction. A is again trying to pull in the upward direction. So we can see A to B section diameter of this is 10 mm and length is 1 meter and B to C section diameter of this is as 6 mm and length is as 1 meter similar to the earlier section this one. So going for a solution first point means the step number one stress at B will be due to the weight of a portion of the bar B to C. So we will be considering only this part to find out the stress at B point clear. So going for this sectional area of BC is equals to A2 is equals to pi by 6 square by 4 which is 28.27 mm square area is determined as A2. Weight of the portion will be BC W2 which is rho, rho is the density weight density area a2 into l2 is the length when then only we are able to get the total weight of this whole bar from b to c is equals to 0 0.7644 into 10 raised to minus 3 into 28.27 multiplied by 1000 when we are going to do this value we will be able to get as 21.61 newtons stress at B. What is the stress at B at this particular point junction? What is the stress at B? We need to find out. So elongation is there due to self weight. So area will be the particular area of 6 mm diameter. So we will take W2 as the weight which is acting as a force now for the condition divided by area. So when we do this we are able to get the value as 0 0.764 MPa Newton per mm square. Similarly, for the part of second section stress at A we will be determining stress at A will be as due to the weight portion of a bar BC and AB. Now we can see it was here only the one section. Now here it is two sections. So BC plus AB both are to be considered. Sectional area of AB is equals to A1. We will be finding the area of this particular section first A1 and pi by 4 10 square by 4 which will be 78.54 weight of the portion AB is W1 is equal to rho A1 L1 which is equal to the 60.04 newtons stress at B will be sigma C is equal to or we can see sigma B we can see the total part W1 plus W2, W1 is this part and W2 is this part. So W2 1 is acting at this section we can see W1 here and W2 which we can see because of this section as W2. So both together will be getting the stress at this section. So let us see that. W1 plus W2 divided by A1 which will be 60.04 plus 21.61 divided by 78.54. So stress will be 1.04 MPa Newton per mm square. Third is change in the length in the portion of B to C. What is the change length occurred in B to C when the W2 of stress is going to act? 
so this is caused due to the weight of bc and it's computed as delta bc is equals to w2 l2 divided by 2 ae a2 e the equation is directly wl by 2 ae so it is written with only the <coughs> section of second section as w2 and l2 divided by 2 area 2 into e e is common for both the sections substituting the value we get delta lbc as 0.00191 mm similarly numerical the continued part change in length in the portion a b so now what is the change in the length of portion a to b we will be seeing so that is this is caused due to the weight of a b and due to the weight of b c acting as concentrated load at b and is computed as so there will be two sections a b section will also acting bc section will also be acting and they will be acting as a one single concentrated load which will be acting at a point b and what is that we will be seeing and how it is computed delta l a b is equals to w1 only for the first part w2 delta l a to b w1 l1 divided by 2 a1 e plus w2 l1 divided by a e1 so i have just taken this as l2 it should be but it is similar as a 1 meter and 1 meter so kept it as l1 itself only so that comes out to be 0.0033 mm so finally the total change in the length will be the change in length of portion bc plus the change in length of portion ab so this is the change in length of portion bc and this is the change in length of portion ab so final answer comes out to be 0.00521 mm thank you see you in the next video